Hello, my name is Claire Shaw and I'm here today to introduce Sensex, our infused vehicle measurement system. In this video, I'll be demonstrating some of the more advanced features of Sensex, such as configuring, logging and analysing current measurements. Having shown how simple it is to set up a Sensex system and take some initial measurements in our first video, I have here a slightly more complex system of three Sensex smart fuses. It's possible to use up to 80 fuses per CAN bus, depending on the measurement data being generated. Now we have all the required hardware available, we can start to configure our fuse network. The first thing we need to do is open the GDSP GUI software. Once it's loaded, press Run to start the GUI. To identify the fuses, click on Hill System Configuration. From here, we can search for attached fuses and define a small CAN network. Having done so, we can now configure our fuses. To do so, select the fuse you want to configure from the drop-down box. We now have a few options. We can see the raw measurement, or we can pass this through up to two filters. Both filters offer the options of no change, average filtration, or weighted average filtration. Filtering allows engineers to mitigate against the effects of noise, which can be significant when measuring quiescent currents over a long period of time. As you can see, we've reduced the current flowing through this fuse to around 0.5 amps. Watch as the graph shows a readback with heavy filter. One available filter type offers a simple average of the last read selection of values. Watch how the graph now responds more quickly to a change in current. The second available filter type is an average that places higher emphasis on more recent measurements, providing a faster filtered response. Once fuses have been configured, they can stream measurements onto the CAN bus, so another piece of software can be used to analyse this data. To do this, simply check the appropriate box and set a time interval at which to stream. Many use cases will require the instrumentation of an entire vehicle. It's conceivable that some fuses will have been inserted with reverse polarity. With Sensex, there is no need to physically reverse these fuses again, as a checkbox in the GUI allows the polarity to be reversed. Now we've configured our fuses, we're able to start measuring currents. Let's head outside to find a suitable vehicle. We're going to connect our Sensex system to the circuits of the windscreen wipers, the horn and the power steering controller. This will allow us to analyse the current draw within these circuits. To do this, we'll use a fuse removing tool to remove the actual fuses, and we can then insert the Sensex smart fuses in place of the fuses we've removed. As explained in our first video, when connecting to a real vehicle, power for the Sensex circuitry can be provided by the vehicle battery. We're using the in-car charge socket for convenience in this video. Other sources of power can be used instead. To ensure accurate voltage measurement, it is important to ground the Sensex system properly by connecting it to the negative terminal of the battery. To analyse current measurements within these circuits, we'll now run the GDSP GUI. As an alternative, we could, of course, configure the Sensex fuses to stream measurement data and then use a third-party CAN monitoring tool to capture these measurements. Click on Monitor Sensex and you will see a rolling graph of the currents being measured through the three smart fuses. If we switch these systems on, you can see the graphs change as they monitor the currents. These currents can also be logged for later analysis. Finally, we'll show the quiescent draw of the power steering. When the vehicle is on, the power steering draws around 0.5 amps. When we switch the ignition off, this falls to just above 0 amps indicating that this system is shutting down correctly. We can also log this data. Click Start Stop Logging to begin recording, and then click it again when you're finished. To view the data, click on the bottom left-hand button, PM, GDSP Hill GUI. Select the save file, load the log data, switch to Log Data Viewer, and choose which signal you wish to display on the right-hand side. The captured data is now shown as logged. This data can be exported as a CSV or image, allowing it to be passed to third-party programs for further analysis. As you can see, we now have a trace showing the current draw as the devices within the vehicle are in operation. That's it for now. If you have any questions about the Sensex range, please get in contact with us via our email address info at ad2.co.uk or just give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you shortly.